It's the most wonderful time. Hey, Guy Level here for a quick video. I'm gonna show you how to add snow to your live streams. We're gonna be using OBS Studio, but this will work with Meld, Streamlabs, Twitch Studio, TikTok Live Studio, any broadcasting software that allows you to add a browser source, a URL source, a link, web source. Anyways, let's do it. This is Snowverlay, and you can find it at Twitch dot center slash snow. Now remember, this is just a link. So yes, this will work with YouTube as well as kick as well as wherever you choose to stream. As you can see on the right side panel, we actually have the choice to completely customize this. And basically everything we touch here, we need to go down, click on preview. It updates and it also updates the link right there, which means that if you would like to have multiple browser sources, maybe different types of snow going on for maybe different scenes, or maybe you want to switch up the snow with a command or something, all of that is absolutely possible. You just gotta do it. <laughs> so flick color, I don't know why you would want anything else than white. Actually, I just thought of a reason. Maybe you want embers and all you would have to do is turn this into orange and then flip the direction in OBS Studio. We have options for the size, let me set this back to white. <laughs> and also the speed, I have mine at one right now, but it gets pretty fast. It gets really fast at nine here. The opacity, there you go. I like full. You can keep it round or have it be little squares. You can have a drop shadow for each particle. That way it really stands out in case you're playing a game with like a white background or something. I don't like it personally. Here we have accumulate, which controls the bottom. You can see it piling up. You can also turn that off, so it just falls, okay? Let me set it back to round. Then we have image flick. If instead of, you know, square particles or round particles, you have actual images of flakes, just like that. Remember that you can still go back, lower it, and all of that. I'm gonna reduce all of that a little bit, boom. Speed, I like, I like the slow speed. I think it's cool. We'll set that to two. So yeah, you choose how it looks. Just make sure you click on preview so it updates the link. And then from there, you can just click, right click, copy, and add it in your broadcaster software as a browser source. In OBS Studio, for example, you would wanna click on the plus under your source tab, pick browser as your source, name it whatever you want. I'll call it snow. Then you're gonna have the default browser source thing here. Make sure you select the link and replace it. Control V with the link you just copied and then set the size of your canvas or the size of your screen, something like 1080p, even though mine is bigger. And just like that, you have snow. I'll make sure to control F on mine to make sure it fits. And it's truly that simple. Now, let's say you would like to update it, right? You don't like the way it looks and you want to actually update it. Well, there's multiple ways of going about doing so. The easiest way would be going back here, doing whatever changes you want, clicking on preview, and then copying the link again. Then back to OBS Studio, double click on your browser source and replace that link. And just like that, your snow has been updated. Another way you can update it is by editing the link itself. If you look closely, you will see that all of the parameters are actually part of the link. The link is HTTPS twitch.center slash snow, but then we have flake count, which is something you can manually update because it's just a number. So I can put 10. Uh, flake color, let's put something random. Flake size, we can set that to two and then speed. Set that to nine. And if I click OK, my updates were taken into account, except I think the color wasn't valid. Oh, and by messing with it, I realized that if you have image flake, you cannot change the color because it's, well, it's just an image. All right, finally, let me do my embers idea like this. So I'll copy it back to OBS. Control A to select everything. Control V to paste whatever you have. Boom. And then I'm going to right click, transform, and flip vertical. Now they're going up. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so yes, now you know how to add snow for the holiday season, and you also know how to add embers for whatever other season. And on that note, subscribe for more stream and content creation related videos, and I'll see you next time.